Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe, if you want to see more videos like this. In this video we will look at the propagation of Moringa plants by means of cuttings. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of producing Moringa plants by cuttings. Moringa is easily propagated by stem cuttings. Propagating plants from cuttings has two distinct advantages. Number 1. Clonal propagation. Producing plants from cuttings is a means of clonal propagation. This means that the new plant will have the exact same traits than that of the mother plant it was taken from. This enables the farmer to select specific mother plants with desirable traits. These traits could include growth rate, growth form, yield expectations and size of leaves and fruit pods. Plants produced from seed would show much more variation of traits within a population of plants. Number 2. Shortened juvenile phase. In general, the production of plants from cuttings eliminates the juvenile phase. The juvenile phase is the period in a plant's development where the plant is too young to produce flowers or seeds. Although Moringa has a very short juvenile phase, we have found that plants produced from cuttings reach full production much faster than plants produced from seed with subsequent economic advantages. The advantages for establishing a Moringa orchard from cuttings include uniform growth pattern, predictable yield expectations, uniform growth tempo, and shortened period from planting to full production. Let's look at cutting production. Moringa plants can be produced from cuttings stuck straight into the field or from container stuck cuttings. Now, let's look at each of these more closely. Field stuck cuttings must only be considered under perfect growing conditions, in ideal growing regions, or with the addition of irrigation under hot dry conditions or suboptimal conditions. Due to this fact, field stuck cuttings might have a lower take rate compared to container stuck plants. Cuttings must be taken during the active growing season from healthy mother plants. Cuttings can be 30 to 50 cm long with a stem diameter of at least 3 to 5 cm. The cuttings are stuck straight into prepared fields and kept moist until roots and leaves appear. Container stuck cuttings. In general, these cuttings are smaller and have a better take rate compared to field stuck cuttings. Take cuttings from active growing mother plants. Keep the plant material turgent at all times. Cuttings should have a diameter in excess of 1 cm and the cuttings should be between 20 to 30 cm long. Cuttings should be stuck in a good cutting mix. The mix we use consists of 40% coir, 40% peat and 20% vermiculite. Sand can be added to the mix to improve drainage as Moringa loves good drainage. The pot size or container to be used depends on the volume of production and the available space for rooting the plants. We score the bottom of our cuttings and apply a rooting hormone. After sticking, wet the pots well and place in a shaded highlight area or in a greenhouse and keep the pots moist until cuttings are rooted. Within a couple of weeks you should have rooted plants. Remember to harden off your rooted plants before field planting. We hope you have a better understanding of rooting Moringa. Check out our Moringa playlist for more videos like this. If you are interested in starting a nursery, then download our free ebook, 5 Steps to Start a Profitable Plant Nursery. The link can be found in the description below. Till next time, happy growing!